Hi everyone. So you're dabbling with video and you're wondering to yourself, why would I ever delete any of this? It's awesome. My teaching is great. I'm doing really well with this. Well, there might be a few occasions when you decide I'm actually going to redo this lesson um, the next time around. So here are a couple of reasons that I've chosen to re-record something. Um, first is sound quality. If your sound quality is a little shaky, uh, might be due to the internet connection. It might have been due to the fact that your microphone wasn't close enough to you in the classroom. Uh, maybe there were just loud noises in the hallway, or there was an announcement that went off in the middle of your lesson that maybe the next time around the kids wouldn't need to know about the um, golf team leaving early today. <laughs> so there are reasons that you might want to re-record just because you don't need to preserve something that impacted the sound quality of your recording. Um, improved delivery. Uh, I'd like to think that we just get better as we go along and we do things over and over again. We usually teach things more than once. And so maybe you just hit on kind of a funny anecdote that you didn't know about the last time around. You didn't think to share that. Uh, so you might have an improved delivery and that's okay. Go ahead and re-record because um, better teaching is better for everyone. Uh, maybe you have more dynamic class participation. Uh, obviously, I teach English, and so uh, we're often reading plays in class or having discussions of literature. And every once in a while, you just stumble on this magic group of kiddos that really have insightful questions, and um, they read with expression, and it really impacts the rest of the class as well when they pick up on that that um, more dynamic environment than maybe what you had the last time you taught it. So that might be a really good reason to decide to record again, because you want to capture that for future classes that maybe don't have those same types of personalities in them. Um, you might have changes to your material. So we don't uh, teach in a vacuum. We change and grow and develop our material as we go. So there might be something that you decide, you know what, I'm going to do something a little differently this time around. And so if you have a change to your material, it's it's one thing to just say, hey, kids, just kind of ignore that one part in the video if you decide to reuse something on material that you have changed slightly. But you can always just go ahead and re-record it because uh, why not? It's simple. It's easy to do. It's free. Um, you might as well just do it. So those are kind of my main reasons why I might decide to uh, re-record a lesson that I've already taught.